Okay, I broke something in the last video and I want to cover it. So I'll play the game. I'm going to I'm going to undo this and I'll show you what the issue is. If I go up to the top here, the game doesn't end. And I was curious why. So what I did was I went in the browser and I put my I created a breakpoint by clicking on the line number of where I wanted to see what was going wrong. I suspected, you know, it's not going out of bounds. So I went to this out of bounds call and I put a breakpoint there. I restarted the page and then I just kept hitting resume until I got off the page or off, sorry, out of the grid. So this next time when I stop it, I'm about to check if it's in if it's outside bounds. So I'm going to say step into the next function call, which goes in there, and I have to say step again and again to get these points. And I moused over the X here and the Y, and they're undefined. I was like, oh, that's curious. Why are they undefined? And I went back and looked at the code, and I saw that is outside bounds uses snake head. And I was like, okay, well, I, I something else uses snake head too, so I'm pretty sure I have snake head. And I went up here to snake head, and it says snake dot parts, which is an array. And the array doesn't have an X and a Y. I have to get parts zero. So let's fix that. Let's do that. We'll resume. We'll go back here. We'll say um, and kudos to you if you caught that while I was typing it. You might have been talking to your monitor saying you did that wrong. So good for you. So let's do that. Let's just go up to the top of the screen. And there we go. Game over. Restart. That still works. Um, so now that we have that, let's let's track our score. Let's see how how far we made it. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna need a oh, I have a I have a another bug that I might have found. If I go up to the top of the screen and I die, so th this this was not displayed none, so when it appeared, it didn't push my canvas down. It was just visibility hidden. Um, and if I hit restart, it does not clear my error. So let's take care of that. And I noticed that by looking at my old code, I had, um, and also it doesn't get rid of the game over. So let's get, um, let's get both of those. Go up to the front here, start. Let's get the game over. Mm, I think we'll do we'll do what we did over here. We'll do let game over mm, header heading equals uh, yank find that go to there paste and then we'll do go to the beginning of the line change find that and we'll do game over heading dot style dot visibility is hidden so we'll hide the game over heading when we start and we'll also do this is game over this will be error and we will do this and we'll do error error heading okay so now I'm gonna put some spaces in here so we can oh, so we can see what's going on a little easier um, yeah so here's the restart button and we could probably put these in functions like um, let, let's do that let's let's make this this start function is getting a little busy so let's say function um, clear game over Let's move in BIM. We can just do 29 to 30, move that to here. And then we could do function clear error. And we can do, oh, no, actually it's um, uh, 32, 33, move to here. And we need to go get rid of this. Um, let's do function add key listener let's make it very clear let's say add error no 
error. Arrow. Arrow key listener. And we'll do 27 move here. And let's do the restart button as well. Let's add function add restart button listener. And we'll do 24 lines 24 to 25 move to here. There we go. So now what we need to do is do add restart button listener. And then add arrow key listener. Oh. And then uh, clear game over. And then clear error. There. So now in our start function, this is a lot more. Um, concise. We can just read what's going on without having to know the details, but if we want to know the details, we can go look at them. So we add a restart button listener. Okay, that seems pretty expressive, pretty self-explanatory. Add arrow key listener. Um, that seems pretty clear. Clear game over. Mm, that could be maybe a little clearer, but it, it gives you the, the sense of what's going on. Clear error, canvas setup, snake setup, and then set interval. So um, let's do, let's change that and let's say, function because that's not super clear what that what that is so let's say setup game loop and we'll do this and we'll say line 30 move to here there we go now we'll do setup game loop so now these are all high level instructions and we can pretty we can see pretty clearly what it is when we start the game restart some things add some listeners clear some things set up some things and set up game loop oh let's do setup Let's keep consistent with our, it doesn't matter really what well, maybe it matters, but it doesn't just stick with a certain style for functions and stuff like that. I like to do, um, I think this is called like snake case or something for my function names and then camel case for uh, my variables, which means that every word in the variable name after the first gets the initial capitalization. Snake case is you separate the words with underscores and it's all lowercase. And then I don't know what you'd call this for constants. So now this is all high level stuff. So we don't need to, we can just get a, a general sense of how, how this is going. And also let's do, let's call the function. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go in the whole, so uh, percent. Um, if you do colon in Vim, you're entering the command line mode. Let's say the whole page, we're going to replace tick with game loop. And we're gonna do global. So uh, when, if we're doing it on a line, we'll do everyone on a line and then we'll say confirm. So do we wanna change this one to game loop? Set it, yes. Do we wanna change this one? Yes. Do we wanna change that one? Mm, no, yes. But let's go back and fix it. Stopped game loop. That's a little clearer, I think. Instead of saying interval, or instead of saying tick, which who knows what tick is, like it could be the sound, a ticking sound, we're saying game loop. Um, and is that a good function name, game loop? Mm, yeah, I think if you're at all familiar with games, you'll know what the game loop is. So now we have, instead of a, a, a tick function, we have a game loop function. Anybody, yeah, if you're familiar with that, you'd be like, oh, this is where we do the main uh, stuff for each. Um, in a lot of games, this would be for each frame. And for us, each frame is, you know, we do one frame every second. So it's not um, not quite the same. Okay, so what have we actually done? Uh, did we do anything? We renamed a bunch of stuff, cleaned some things up. Um, oh, yeah, what we were doing was we were clearing out the game over, clearing out the error, and we were going to do some score. You know what? Um, that's what I intended. And like a lot of programming, uh, we didn't get what we intended. We did a bunch of housekeeping. So I'm just going to call that a video and we'll hopefully do scores next time.